Okay, so we've thought about who we are. We were, we were created in God's image, in his likeness. And why we're here, we're here to show other people what, what God is like and to live for God. Okay, so fine, Rosie. God has made me in his image and he loves me and wants me to live for him. So what? Well, I don't know about you, but sometimes I hope there are things about me that other people don't know. Like the times that I'm really mean and get really grumpy and shout at my kids and get angry. Or the times that I go on a bit of a strop with my friends. Or when I tell a lie or don't say the thing that I should do or stick up for the person that I should do. There's things that I get wrong all the time and I hope that other people don't know the things that are bad about me. It can be a bit like that with God, can't it? We often can hope that God doesn't know the worst about us. But, you see, God knows everything there is to know about us. God knows us better than we know ourselves. Think about how this should affect how we live. Imagine for a minute that you've done something bad in school and you've got caught and you've got sent to your head teacher's office to explain what you did, knowing that what you had done had let them down. I'd feel really embarrassed, a bit upset, worried, ashamed. This is how we can feel when we do things that displease God, because we know that he already knows what we've done. But remember the answer to the second part of the question. God loves us. He loves us and cares for us. And he will forgive us if we ask him for forgiveness. Don't be afraid of God. He loves you and he cares for you. Ask for his forgiveness. But how can you live for God? What can you do to show that you're living for God? How can you actually live it out in real life? Have a think about that for you because it will be different for you than it will be maybe for your brother or sister. And it will be different for me. Think about how you can live in a way that shows that you are living for God so that other people will see that you are made in God's image and you are here on planet Earth to live for God. It's a tough one, but think about it and try and live it out. Let's take a minute or two to pray um, and we can ask for God's help for that as well. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for making me and giving me life. Thank you that I am special to you and that you love me. Please help me to remember that you know all about me, the good things and the bad things. Please help me to live for you. Thank you for caring for me and looking after me. Please help me to be caring too. In Jesus' name, Amen.